Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Growers. Hi, my name is Larissa Granko. I'm a master's student in the Department of Soil Science at the University of Manitoba. Okay, and we're at Cannel Lab 13 here in Brandon, and uh, we're talking seed toxicity for uh, seed place fertilizers and, and lots going on here, but give us a, just a, a snapshot of what we talked about here. Okay, so this is soil taken from a knoll, an eroded knoll uh, just um, south of Brandon uh, from the Newdale Clay Loam series. Um, and the, the eroded knoll from this series has a high lime content. Uh, and the lime in the soil uh, reacts with ammonium sulfate uh, to increase the ammonia formation. Now a lot of guys are using a one-pass seeding system where they're putting their phosphorus and their sulfur blend in the seed row. And they're wondering how much phosphorus and sulfur they can get away with. Um, so the experiment that I have uh, set up here has shown the recommended rates and double the recommended rate applied. Um, and what we're finding is that the ammonium sulfate applied at either rate is extremely toxic on these eroded knolls because of the unique reaction that happens uh, with ammonium sulfate and lime. And uh, the plant stem reduction is very severe. And uh, I guess that's just what, what the take home message here is. So then for, for farmers who, who know their topography, who know, who could maybe anticipate the difference between the knolls or the low spot sort of stuff, um, do you recommend dialing back the rates? Like, this, is this where variable rate uh, might come into play or? Abs yeah, absolutely. If possible, if you did have variable rate technology and you wanted to reduce the rates of um, phosphorus or sulfur fertilizer on those knolls, that would be ideal. Um, but in any case, sulfur is mobile in the, in the soil, so it doesn't need to be placed with the seed. It could be placed on a mid-row band, side band, or even broadcast, and, um, and it will be able to provide available uh, sulfur in the year of application in, in, in various placements. So what are some of the most common questions that you're getting from this uh, discussion? I think in general, the, the questions that I'm getting is, is how much fertilizer can I get away with? And that really depends on the type of fertilizer that you're using, um, uh, the seed bed utilization, uh, the opener width and the seed row that you're, or seed, the seed row spacing that you're using, um, and especially the moisture at the time of seeding. And that's what, what um, is a little bit frustrating because some years you can get away with putting more fertilizer down and some years you can't. So it is a site by site and year by year um, decision that every farmer has to make for themselves. Hey, thanks so much, Larissa.